I'm Jonas Wingegaard and welcome to the Cycling Dane. Oh my god, what did Jonas just do? Absolutely astonishing. You wouldn't believe it. Well, you would have hoped for it being a Dane, but Jonas Bingo not only drops Tata Bugaccia here on the 11th stage the day before Alpe d'Huez, but he also takes over the yellow jersey. Absolutely phenomenal. It's just crazy, this. The last rider to wear the yellow jersey for Denmark was Mikael Rasmussen. And yeah, there's we would know the story there. Bjarne Ries was the last winner for Denmark in 1996. And yeah, Jonas Vingegaard just this diamond in the rough we've yeah and i can say firsthand as well absolutely nice guy and i think what better moment to cut back to what he had to say in november last year to yours truly so looking forward to 2022 uh, it happens to start in denmark so is that something you're looking forward to yeah yeah definitely i'm uh, really looking forward of course i've now I first have to uh, be selected for it, but uh, I mean, I think I'm going to be. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, of course, he hasn't won the Tour de France. It's just anything can happen in the Tour de France. We still have got plenty of stages to go, but this absolute dominance he showed on this stage, it's just, yeah. And the team behind him, Roglic, we know, unfortunately, didn't have the greatest time in the Tour de France either. He's had a good season, Jonas Vingor. He's won the stage in the Dauphiné, of course, where Roglic ultimately took the win overall. He won the Drum Classic as well. And last year, we all know that he finished second to Tadej Bogaccia, but it never really looked like he dropped him at any point. So we were all hoping, well, being Danish, that he was going to be able to do this, but not in my wildest dreams that I think Tad Bogaccio was going to get dropped or lose the yellow jersey as well. So, yeah, it's just incredible because there was no point last year that Jonas Bingo put Tad Bogaccio in trouble. Even that Mormon 2 stage, I don't think he was in trouble. Jonas Bingo, well, comparing Jonas Bingo to Tad Bogaccio, Similar kind of riders, but it always felt like Tarbogaccia was the better of the two in all the things. But yeah, we've seen over the last few stages as well, Tarbogaccia just did that bit of acceleration a bit late on in the stage. And it looked like Jonas Vingor could just about follow, but sometimes lost a bit of distance. So it was just, it didn't seem like this was going to happen. It's, yeah, I might have a smile on my face because just absolutely outrageous but yeah um it's it's going to be interesting that's for sure if he does win tomorrow here on the alp d'huez and don't worry we'll we'll be out in force all the danish people here with our danish flags don't worry there's going to be a video about that um yeah so it's crazy isn't it so if he does win tomorrow which up to as iconic climb. We do know that Tad Bogaccia is going to want to come back with a ferocious fourth here. And UAE have been so unlucky losing George Bennett, losing plenty of riders. Rafa Maika, unfortunately, sick. So, but Jan Bovisma have had their own bad luck. That crazy photo with Jonas Wingor and the crazy bike change on the cobblestone stage. So, I just can't believe it. It's crazy to think about that Jonas Wingo has just absolutely gone from strength to strength since his, well, since joining Jumbo Visma, since the incredible pull he did on the Anglo route back in the Vuelta España in 2020, where he helped Primoz Roglic to win that ultimately, not the stage, but he was part of the winning team. And then, yeah, the very next year, Roglic kind of can't well bad luck um forces him out and then yeah he lives up to an incredible role finishing second and you're just like oh my goodness 
just an absolute superstar. And while having spoken to him twice in interviews, I can say he's an absolute nice guy. This, this is the kind of person you want head of your sport, head of leading uh, the golden nation of cycling. And it's so fitting that Jonas Bingo pulls on the yellow jersey. I did say it in the predictions video that we we're going to have uh, Dane in the yellow jersey. I didn't thought, well, I hoped it was going to be Jonas Bingo. You might recall that I also said Tadwagacho was going to win the tour, but I said that if I said the reverse, that it might be Jonas Bingo winning it. And uh, here we are. So how fitting that we start in Copenhagen. Okay, we didn't go... Uh, over to where Jonas Vingo was from in Denmark. But yeah, it's a Jose Anderson's fairy tale story, this from, yeah, a uh, very, very nice guy, very nice winner of the stage. We still can't say winner of the Tour de France yet. But yeah, we've seen it so many times where riders kind of finish second and then the next year they go on to win it. But the caveat on that was most of them were Tour de France. Uh, well, not Tour de France, they were teammates, like we saw with Inno and Greg LeMond. We saw it with Chris Froome and Bradley Wiggins. And uh, yeah, Tad Rigacian, they are, of course, not teammates. But uh, what a way to improve it. And yeah, it's just starting in Denmark. And now we're in this position. You couldn't have written it, could you? But um is there anything more to say than the golden generation of Denmark is really turning golden? Mess Pillars in the world champion, Kesper Eskrein winning the Ronde, and Manus Kort Nielsen winning yesterday. So it's like, what is going on? The Danish riders are going absolutely mental. So as a Dane myself, I'm so overjoyed. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens at the remaining of this Tour de France. But yeah, that is basically it uh, for this video. I just wanted to, as a Dane, as the Cycling Dane, I wanted to commemorate the Cycling Dane Jonas Wingegaard's victory today. And wow, 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 wow. So with that, as always, comment down below what you thought of the stage today. We also have the recap with Ewan over on the Cycling Dane Extra. This is going to be in podcast form as well. So if you want to check that out. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're almost at 24,000 subscribers. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And of course, have a nice day. Denmark, <laughs>